A cyber attack is an attempt to gain access to a computer network or system by hackers, cyber criminals, or other digital adversaries, usually with the intention of stealing, releasing, changing, or destroying users' personal data. Cyber attacks can target a wide range of victims from individual users to enterprises or even governments. When targeting businesses or other organizations, the hacker's goal is usually to access sensitive and valuable company resources, such as intellectual property, customer data, or payment details. The cyber attacks that we will discuss in this video are Malware malicious software designed to infiltrate or damage a computer system. Malware is software that is installed on a computer without the user's consent and that performs malicious actions, such as stealing passwords or money. Malware is one of the biggest threats to the security of your computer, tablet, phone, and other devices. Malware includes viruses, spyware, ransomware, and other unwanted software that gets secretly installed onto your device. Phishing is the term used to describe an attempt to obtain private information in order to use or sell it. This information is usually in the form of usernames, passwords, credit card numbers, bank account information, or other critical data. It is a fraudulent attempt to obtain sensitive information, such as usernames, passwords, and credit card details, by posing as a trustworthy entity in an electronic communication. Denial of service attacks, also known as DOS, these attacks aim to make a computer or network unavailable by overwhelming it with a flood of traffic, causing it to crash or become inaccessible. The goal of a DOS attack is to render the target system or network unavailable to its intended users, causing a denial of service. For example, Black Friday sales, when thousands of users are clamoring for a bargain, often cause a denial of service, but they can also be malicious. In this case, an attacker purposefully tries to exhaust the site's resources, denying legitimate users access. SQL injection is a code injection technique that might destroy your database. SQL injection is one of the most common web hacking techniques. SQL injection is the placement of malicious code in SQL statements via web page input. SQL injection is a covert type of cyber attack in which a hacker inserts their own code into a website to breach its security measures and access protected data. Once inside, they can control the website's database and hijack user information. SQL injection usually occurs when you ask a user for input, like their username user ID, and instead of a name or ID, user gives you an SQL statement that you will unknowingly run on your database. Cross-site scripting also known as XSS as injecting malicious scripts into web pages that are viewed by other users. This can lead to the theft of user data or session hijacking. Attacker injects website with malicious scripts. Malicious scripts is activated with each victim's visit to the site. Victim's cookies or private credentials like username password are stolen. Zero-day exploits attacks that target vulnerabilities in software or hardware that are unknown to the vendor or have not yet been patched. A zero-day vulnerability is a security flaw that's unknown to someone's interest in mitigating the flaw. A zero-day exploit when the hackers take advantage of zero-day vulnerability for malicious reason. A zero-day attack is when hackers leverage their zero-day exploit to commit a cyber attack. Social engineering attacks manipulate people into sharing information that they shouldn't share, downloading software that they shouldn't download, visiting websites they shouldn't visit sending money to criminals or making other mistakes that compromise their personal or organizational security. A threat attacker does reach on the target to find what weakness and medium are best for the attack. Deceiving the victim to develop a relationship, engaging the target by spinning a story, and then taking control of the interaction. Fraudulently obtain person or financial information. Convince the target to send money or personal information closing the interaction without being suspicious, and then remove all the traces of the malware. IoT Internet of Things exploitation attacks targeting the security vulnerabilities of connected devices, such as smart home appliances, industrial sensors, or medical devices. IoT attacks are cyber attacks that gain access to users' sensitive data with the help of any IoT device. Attackers usually install malware on the device, harm the device, or gain access to further personal data of the company. IoT attacks are cyber attacks that gain access to users' sensitive data with the help of any IoT device. Attackers usually install malware on the device, harm the device, or gain access to further personal data of the company. 
Advanced Persistent Threats also known as apps are the long-term, targeted attacks in which an unauthorized user gains access to a network and remains undetected for an extended period, usually for espionage or data theft. Like a burglar forcing open a door with a crowbar, cybercriminals usually gain entry through a network, an infected file, junk email, or an app vulnerability to insert malware into a target network. Cybercriminals implant malware that allows the creation of a network of backdoors and tunnels used to move around in systems undetected. The malware often employs techniques like rewriting code to help hackers cover their tracks. Once inside, hackers use techniques such as password cracking to gain access to administrator rights so they can control more of the system and get even greater levels of access. Deeper inside the system with administrator rights, hackers can move around at will. They can also attempt to access other servers and other secure parts of the network. From inside the system, hackers gain a full understanding of how it works and its vulnerabilities, allowing them to harvest the information they want at will. Hackers can attempt to keep this process running possibly indefinitely, or withdraw once they accomplish a specific goal. They often leave a backdoor open to access the system again in the future, and in the middle attacks an attacker intercepts and potentially alters communication between two parties without their knowledge. This can be used to steal sensitive information. The attacker can monitor the communication between the two parties, gaining access to sensitive information like login credentials, personal data, or confidential business information. In some cases, the attacker may alter the data being transmitted. This could involve injecting malicious content, modifying messages, or redirecting the communication to a different destination. To mitigate the risks associated with cyber attacks, individuals and organizations should adopt cybersecurity best practices, such as regularly updating software, using strong and unique passwords, implementing firewalls and antivirus programs, and staying informed about the latest threats and vulnerabilities. Additionally, having a robust incident response plan in place is crucial for minimizing the impact of a cyber attack when it does occur.